Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here. Well, you'll notice we are not inside. Um, I apologize for the delay in getting some of these videos out, but uh, hopefully these next ones you're going to really like. Um, I've had a lot of requests for things that I do for second and third season um, where I'm not packing my camp on my back. Um, I can tell you I did not pack this on my back. Just the canvas alone of this tent is about 115 pounds, so that's not happening. <laughs> um, so this is my wall tent setup. I usually hunt out of this second season, sometimes third season as well, but every second season I hunt out of this for at least a week. Um, it's pretty comfortable, and it may not look like it, but this tent is actually almost a decade old, and it still works just perfectly. So um, it's a Davis tent. It's made by Davis Tent and Awning in Denver, Colorado. Love to support local companies, so um, the parts of it uh, essentially are you've got the 14 by 16 wall tent back, you've got an 8 foot awning, the canvas on the awning is not from Davis Tent, um, and this is a Royal Throne uh, tent. However, we don't use it as a uh, toilet, we use it as a shower, so um, I apologize in advance, I can't control the volume of the outdoors, <laughs> nor can I control shaky hands um, that uh, may happen because I'm walking around for this tour. So we'll start here. This is the Royal Throne. Um, it is essentially our shower tent. It's got a, a bamboo stand to stand on. That hose connects to something I'll show you inside in a minute. And then we can make this work here. Uh, shower comes out of there. It sprays out of that little nozzle. It's got a window in the back, place to put your uh, shampoo and all that. Works pretty well. Um, you know, I don't bring it every year, but the years I am going to stay for a longer period of time, I definitely bring it. So it's nice to take a shower. Um, this is the awning. Uh, you can see that obviously it just keeps you out of the weather. If you want to hang out, it's eight feet, and then it's the width and length of, or the width of a tent, so it works out pretty well. The uh, tarp on the tent actually covers this gap right here, um, so that the um, weather doesn't come down through those cracks. Um, Used to put coolers under there. Of course, this cooler is sitting right in the sun. Um, when I take the other cooler out, I'll move them around. So. Um, I have a window on each side of the tent, including the front. Sometimes it's nice not to have to open the door and unzip the whole door uh, to see what's going on outside. So, put wood underneath. Uh, I made it eight feet because you could actually park a quad or a uh, UTV side by side underneath there. Pretty comfortably if you want to get it out of the weather. Um, we mostly hike, so I don't <laughs> I don't use quads right now. So. Um, Colorado door, if you are going to get a tent, make sure it has this. Um, these little buckles here are really nice, especially when, um, <laughs> your zipper breaks. <laughs> you can still close up the tent. Um, if you, depending on how you put the tent on the frame, for some reason if it's too tight, you can actually unzip the front, undo the buckles, get it around the frame, get it, you know, tied down and everything so it's not going to take off on you and then... You can actually use those buckles gently to kind of pull the tent back together. So uh, dual purpose for sure. Uh, let's take a look inside. So bear with me here. We'll come over here, take a look at the front door here. Um, so Colorado door on the outside, on the inside screen door. That's key, especially if you are using this for archery or anything where it could be hot. Sometimes second season it's hot. It's gonna be hot this year too, which kind of stinks for hunting, but that's all right. Um, got a little coat hanger over the door there. Um, works pretty well. Um, just, you know, just over the hang over the door coat hanger. Pretty easy to get at Walmart, Lowe's, wherever. Works really well. Nice thing is you can actually unhook it and move it wherever you want. So if you need to dry things out, move it closer to the fire. Uh, you got, you know, just want to hang it up. Uh, you can move it away. Speaking of fire, um, again, uh, pretty self-explanatory. This is the mid-size stove that Davis has. 
it's right on the upper edge for the 14 by 16. I, if I'd done it again, I would have gotten the bigger stove. Um, you can always put less wood in there. A couple things about my stove setup you'll notice that might differ from other ones are the fan. Um, it's a heat activated fan. There's no battery. So uh, it just helps push the air across the tent a little bit better. Sometimes in wall tents, corner's really hot, far corner's really cold. Um, you know, this one, you don't have that issue. Um, let's see. Makes coffee, heats the tent, works pretty well. Uh, the other thing you probably will not recognize if you haven't spent a lot of time in a wall tent is that hanging off the back right here is the pellet burner. This is a pellet hopper. There's a little attachment back there. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that. Um, that is amazing. Uh, essentially, I fire that up once and it stays on and just burns the entire time I'm here. You can hear the pellets drop right there. Um, it is not battery activated. It's gravity activated. It works fantastic. Um, right now, um, open the stove. For the stove to show you that there is not any wood growing, burning in there. Sorry. Again, it's on the tripod. No wood in there, right? Just the pellet burner is keeping that stove hot enough to activate the fan, which stops spinning if you take it off the heat. Um, and right now, it is 50 degrees outside, and it is 65 in here. So, of course, the fan's still going because it's super hot, but um, just heat activated. It works pretty well. Um, moving on to sleeping. I usually sleep by the fire because I'm the one that puts the wood in in the night. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Dave is caught. Dave is pad. Get an, uh, like a wool blanket. And on this side, this is like a, um, like a nightstand kind of thing. You can actually put your rifle in and it's got pockets and stuff. Um, get that. That keeps the wind from circulating, but also get a blanket. You can see the edge of the blanket right about there. Um, it keeps the air on the far side from circulating under the cot. Air cools you down, blah, 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 keeps you warm. So, uh, standard, just heavy sleeping bag, sweatpants. Um, always put some carpet right there by the, um, by the cot so that you can wake up in the morning and not have, uh, cold feet. Uh, buying a harness. Um, these you can get on Walmart. Or, uh, yeah, Walmart, or you can get them online on Amazon. Pretty cool organizer. Um, makes it so that you can put whatever you need to in there. Works out pretty well. Um, I have a Kfaru pack uh, that I'm really liking. Uh, more coming on that. Um, that's what I'm using now. Um, again, another clothes hanger. As you can see, there's not much room on that anymore. There's First Light, Kuyu. All kinds of goodies on there. Um, this is another cot. We have it set up. We'll have three people in here. So um, we'll have obviously one here, one there, and then one on this side right there. Um, he's not here yet. So, um, you know, some of you give me a hard time about having nice stuff. Uh, it's taken a long time for me to get uh, to where I am. That pack that you see right there is the first hunting backpack I ever bought. It is available at Walmart. I think it's less than 50 bucks. I used that for about seven, maybe eight years before I got even a decent pack. So just start somewhere. It doesn't matter. Start somewhere, get outside, go have some fun. Um, more hangers, obviously. Coat hangers. Um, coat hanger there. Another window. Um, Guys, I'm I'm not a photographer, I'm not gonna lie, so um here's kind of the <laughs> mess of a corner that, that is there. Um and we'll start at the bottom. You've got pellets, water, little stove, um, then working your way up. You've got um this just this table that I put together. So here you've got uh just a storage drawer and put everything in there that you need contacts, uh, cooking utensils, maps, knives, soap, um, medicine. If you need more medicine, sometimes I put the medicine on top. Works out well too. 
food in the corner. Um, just get these little cheap ass hooks and you can hang it pretty much anything on the side of the tent. That works out just fine. Um, cool part is this sink is actually functional ish. So, uh, just a nice little foot pump and you have running water ish and then it drains out. Um, wash your hands. Uh, it's not high pressure. Works out just fine. Um, tunes. I know I've said um a million times in this video. Just trying to get it out for you guys so that you uh, know what I do in second season. So, if there are any questions about any of this stuff as, as I kind of pan around here. Um, you want to know anything about where I got it, how it's worked, the reason it's that way, not some other way just give me a call um, or send me an email um, Colorado hunter hiker at gmail.com or send me a message through uh, YouTube one last thing three-quarter floor works out really well that stove heats uh, the place it also dries everything so it may sound bad but bring lotion um, it will crack your skin and and is not fun so bring some lotion I'm gonna let you do the jokes there but um, the cool part about the three quarter floor is that stove will also dry out the ground right here. I don't care how muddy it is, that stove will, will definitely dry it out. Um, full floors, then you got to track the mud in and out here. It's nice. You can come inside, take your boots off, get warm a little, and then you can go sit on your bed, take your boots off. So, um, that's it for me. Thanks guys. Um, any questions? Let me know.